wie du. Ich bin der Babu, streif Holz und Kreh im Wald umher und brauche keine Schuh. Schubi wieder, wie du. Ich bin der Babu und mir geht zu Schuh wieder, wie du, wie da, wie du, wie da, wie du. Dicke Beeren lieb ich so. Wurst gebraten und auch roh. Das sieht doch aus. Denn wer von Liebe was versteht, weiß, dass sie durch den Magen geht. Du könntest doch so nichts anderes als fressen. Schubdi, dopdi, du. Ich bin der Babu, straff Holz und Kreh im Wald umher und brauche keine Schuhe. Schubidi, dopdi, du. Ich bin der Babu und mir geht zu Schubi, da, bi, du, bi, da, bi, du, bi, da, bi, du. And Wabu the smart raccoon went nicely into the garden and got down on his belly in the sun. Oh, he was lying useless. Oh, he was pulling Joe. Come on, let's see Wabu himself can handle Joe. Wabu shivered. Charlie, who always was snooping around, saw everything and smiled. Finally, somebody got to you. Beginner's luck. But tell me, Charlie, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, Babu, but I have to go home. About this time, there is always a bowl of milk for me in front of the door. If I don't hurry, the mice will come and drink everything. Too bad. I'm making the best invention of all times. If you would help, you would be famous too. But yeah. If you don't have time, well, it doesn't matter. Well, I could listen to you ideas. I still got a few minutes. All right, watch it. Today is a very lovely day. But tomorrow can be cold and wet. And that is a pity, right? Well, I know that. If that's your idea, I'd rather go. Let me finish talking. Today is just a very lovely day because there's so much sunshine, in fact too, too much. And because there is too much today, there'll be less tomorrow. And then it is cold. Yeah, what's your invention? That's quite simple. If we catch the sunshine, which is too many today, we can let them go tomorrow, if there are less. And then we have beautiful weather again. Genius! I wish I was as smart as you. So you're in? If you tell me what I have to do, of course. Everybody is doing the best he, he can. You're a better catcher than me, so if you catch the sunshine, I'm a better organizer than you. So I will invent a bottle in which we can catch the sunshine. That's okay. Take a large bottle with you, because I'm the best catcher of the world. Stupid cat. Hopefully the mice didn't drink his milk yet. <laughs> Wabu was lucky. Before Charlie's home was a bowl full of milk. In no time, Wabu was finishing drinking the milk. And meanwhile, Wabu drank his milk, Charlie tried to catch the sunshine. But every time that he thought he had one, they slipped out. Slowly Charlie is getting angry. He is hitting around and starts to curse louder. Oh shit. What are you doing then? It's nice weather and there is no reason to curse. I'm trying to catch the sunshine, but they keep on slipping through my feet. <laughs> Catching sunshine? Don't make me laugh. That's not possible. You can wait till you wait an ounce. What do you say? It won't work? But Wabu said... Wabu? That's what we could have expected. He fooled you again. Why would he fool me? I'm still his friend. <laughs> but my sweet bucks, my milk, wait. Wabu! And with big jumps, Charlie went away. Hey, that's what I want. 
to see happening. The twins, Mimo and Mac, quickly went after Charlie. Charlie stood in the front of the house and looked furious at his empty bowl. Damn, this is really the last time that I fall for Wabu's jokes. Did I hear the name Wabu? What did he do this time? He drank all of my milk. <laughs> that Wabu. Must he always tease everybody? It's starting to become annoying. Somebody must really beat him up. Catch me? Wait, Grumpy, I will catch you again. And what am I going to do now? I'm hungry. Well, Charlie, it ain't that bad. If you mow really hard and really sad, then your boss will fill your bowl again. We always must take care for our own food, and that's what we will do now. Hey, Mimo and Mac, here you go. Did you hear that? The bear wants to beat me up. He's absolutely not the first one who came with that idea. We know a whole lot who would like to do that sometime. Idiots! Say for yourself! That deserves a hard lesson, right? Leave him alone, Wabu! He can't do it any other way! He's always grumpy! Only a little lesson then? Well, yes, okay, a little lesson won't hurt. It's always going that way, that grumpy old bear! Do you have an idea? Here. Wabu took out a bag of chocolates. Where did you get that from? I found it. You have no idea what people are losing. The only thing you have to do is scare them a little and then they drop everything and run away. And then you find all kinds of things, for example chocolates. Shame on you Wabu! On the other hand, if there is anyone so stupid to walk away from you, it's their own fault. In the meantime, Wabu took it. Metal of wool. <laughs> we already know what you're up to. And made the wool tied to the chocolates. Harry, Mimo, Mac, Brummy's coming. They just hide themselves, or them came the bear, grumpy as always, following his way. Chocolates. Somebody lost a bag of chocolates over here. Wait a minute, stupid thing. I will get you. That's bad, Brommy. Did you hurt yourself? It's all right. Those damn bags of chocolates. I want to grab it, but it's still going further away. The fool. Here, here it is. The flying chocolate bag. Fool. Oh, what, Brommy? It was only a joke. Do you want to share? Well, all right. But I share. I don't trust you. Okay, Brommy. If that makes you happy... Peaceful, the four of them ate the chocolates all at once. On a day, while we looked how the confused squirrel on the other side of the pawn was collecting nuts. Hey silly, why are you so busy? Wabo, it's good you're here. You have to invent something. But of course, 
What do you need? A truck? A plane? A crane? A tractor? A digger? Babo, can you F be serious? I really have a problem. How do I bring all those nuts to my hole? My cabin is on the other side of the pond, and if I have to walk to the bridge, the winter will be over and the time I'll be there. Well, if that's all, I will drop a tree over the pond, which you can use as a bridge. I'll be right back, I have to get an axe. Full of joy, Wabu went away. By the house of Alfred, the wood chopper, he looked carefully around him, nobody to see. Quickly, he sneaked into the barn. That's where Alfred keeps his tool. <laughs> Just in time, he wanted to take off with an axe. The dog discovered him and started to bark. Stupid barker, shut your mouth, you wake up Alfred from his afternoon nap. Wabu, you did not steal anything, did you? Alfred bought us to catch the burglars. That's a good idea from Alfred. People can be careful enough these days. The other day, right after carnival at the drugstore, a whole box with sneeze powder disappeared. Ay, 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 ay. Can you imagine? You can't be serious. Did the owner of the drugstore now bought a dog? No, but I helped him set up a burglar trap. Yeah. A burglar trap? That sounds good. Are we able to do that? Of course, it's simple. You must dig a hole behind the door of the barn and fill that with water. And if the burglar comes, he falls into the water and then you can catch him. That sounds very simple. Let's do it. Wabu jumped smiling away with the axe. At the pond stood Silly the Squirrel waiting impatiently for Wabu. There you are finally! I was afraid you had forgotten me. That's nonsense. If I make a promise, I will keep it. But the ducks of the woodchopper kept me. Then I had to make a plan. But now we can start. Wabu started chopping. This is fun too! Babu, our nest, our nest! Babu, kill our child murderer, child murderer! Babu, is that true? Uh, I'm not sure. But if the birds say that there was a nest, it will be alright. How was I supposed to know? It was expected as if it was going to happen sometimes. Everybody started searching. The sniffing around. Even the bear who was anyway, but this was not worth it. Search crumbing. Here it is, here it is, we found the nest. Just what I told you. All fear for nothing. But it's empty! The egg there! Oh, it's rolling into the water! But near the pond, he rolled into a rock. Well, it's broken! Babu destroyed our egg! Disappointed, Wabu grabs on the egg. 
But while he was sadly looking at it... It's moving! Look! It's coming out! Amazing! The animals were looking surprised how the little bird was trying to get out. The birds could not believe it. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> Isn't he sweet? He's born a little too early, but as far as I can see, he's very healthy. Right? He's alright, isn't he? Still? Yeah, the boy's perfectly alright. Hey, you should have become a nanny. You get away with this easy this time, Bubble. Hey, where did you get these ones? They belong to the squirrel. Nonsense. They don't belong to the squirrel. They were just here. But the squirrel collected them. Hey, silly, the bear's stealing your nuts. That's not true. Hey, why is the squirrel not coming? Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering the whole time where the squirrel is. But he was just here. I wanted to chop the tree for him. Squirrels are very quick and are scared easily. If he hears it, a little noise, he will take off. I think so too. He's hiding somewhere. He will appear soon. But don't touch the nuts. Oh, if they are not here when the squirrels are back. Oh, help, help, help me. I'm here, right under the tree. But the squirrel talked too soft, and the other animals were talking too loud. Nobody heard him. Here's nothing going on. Let's go. The squirrel was still sitting under the tree and cried. He heard how the animals went home, went home, one by one. He believed that no one would ever help him. The next day, Wabu left in a good mood to Charlie's home. He wanted to tell him about his new invention. Hey Wabu, I'm searching for the squirrel. Did you see him? He's not still gone, isn't he? He is, and he didn't sleep at home. Sleep at home. Was just there. Tee! That deserves a waboo squirrel. What's that? A waboo squirrel. If he doesn't come now, then I don't know it either. All animals were very excited. What's happening over here? Is there a fire or something like that? Somebody has been robbed. A new. That would happen one day. An accident. Did somebody get hurt? Even the owl, who was normally sleeping at day, had come. Everybody came, except for the squirrel. That isn't loud enough. They are looking for me. Hey, here I am. Shut that stupid thing off. You can't hear me like that. The squirrel tried to push the tree away. But then he got so much pain that everything went black. The squirrel fainted. Well, the squirrel should have heard it by now. But still, it is strange that he isn't coming. I think we have found him. That's the hair of a tail. The tail is silly. Mines are a different color. Where are they? Over there! There! At the river? They found the hair at the river. Oh my god, the squirrel has fallen into the water. When Wabu jumped off the tree, the squirrel fell into the water because of the tree. But squirrels can't swim. But squirrels can't swim at all, can they? Exactly, I have already known it. Wabu is a danger to everybody. Exactly! First you almost kill our child and now it is his fault that the squirrel has disappeared. And don't forget that he drank my milk and I'm almost starved. But the only thing I wanted to do is help him. Help? You and helping? That isn't working. Then what are you doing? You're not helping the squirrel either. You're just standing there and shouting on me. I'm going to look for the squirrel. I will I will help you out. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't 
think so, Babu. We are saving the squirrel. You can't help us. All animals went and left Babu alone. And you, Mimo and Mark? Are you also mad at me? But also Mimo Mac, who used to care about Wabu, left him and walked away without saying something. I don't get it. Somewhere this isn't right. I always mean well. But stand and watch how they are searching for him. They can't forbid me that, can they? I can help them out when they need help. In the meanwhile, the Amos had started looking. He was getting worse and worse. The next morning Charlie was on his way to the tree Wobble had chopped off because the animals would see each other there to search more. Where are you going this early in the morning Charlie? Did they find the squirrel? No, not yet. But we are still searching. You can help too if you want. Bring your shuffle with you. Mm, yes, I will do that. Mm, yes, I will do that. But where did I put my shuffle again? I think I have him somewhere in my garage. The mole went back in his hole and ran through his hallways. Oh my god! Squirrel! There is the squirrel! Frightened, the mole went to the squirrel. Squirrel! Squirrel! Oh no! I think the squirrel is dead. At the chop tree the animals decided to search more on the other half of the river. But then came the mole above the ground. You don't have to search anymore. Silly is lying over here, beneath the tree. He has fallen into the hole I have digged. And then the tree fell over him. I think he's dead. I think so. I've called him and touched him, but it didn't seem to react. Babu, stop it immediately to stop! I got him, I got him, here he is, he's here he is, look! Silly said something. How are you, old gear? Leave him alone, Babu. Can't you see that he's wounded? Someone has to take care of him and nurse him. I will do that. No, no. Are you out of your mind? Don't touch him. I think I better take care of him. <laughs> the most important thing is that he takes a lot of rest. I will not have any visitors until tomorrow. And even if it was difficult, all animals agreed with Hermin. And even Wabu didn't say anything. Silly, are you feeling better again? I'm feeling better now. Only my front legs are broken and my tail is bruised. But I can't crunch nuts at the moment. I have to think about something. Wabu started smiling. Thinking of something. Wabu could do that. What is he up to now? No idea. He must have another idea. Oh no! Soon after that, they saw Wobble with a mysterious packet walking into the woods. What's in there? Let me see. Nothing, stay off. 
That is a present for Silly to make it up. Curious, Charlie followed Wabu. Here you go, Silly. For me? I will open the present for you because you can't do that right now. Nuts all crushed and without a shell. And all for me. Listen, Wabu. Now I'm thinking about it. Actually, I also have to have something because of my milk, and the bear because of the chocolates, the birds because of the egg, and... You are right, you know. To show everybody that I have improved myself, I'm inviting you to a big dinner. You are inviting us? Of course. All you have to do is take the milk with you, and I will take care of everything else. That's okay. Listen up, Bromi, to make it up to you, because I teased you so many times, I'm inviting you for a dinner. All you have to do is take some honey with you and I will take care of the rest. Drowning, the bear promised to come. Great to see you guys. Listen up, Hermie. I'm inviting you for a dinner. All you have to do is take some vegetables with you and I will take care of the rest. And also Hermine wanted to come. The only thing that, mi that is missing are the potatoes. Hey Bol, I'm organizing a big dinner. I have arranged everything. The only thing I can get are the potatoes. Would you take some with you for me, please? Of course, Wabo. I will do that for you. If you have done so much effort as you said you did, I will gladly take care of the potatoes for you. Giggling, Wabo jumped on. I want to invite you for a dinner. Can you take blueberries with you? I've already taken care of the rest of the dinner. The birds were astonished that they were invited, but they promised to come. In the afternoon, it was time. Wabu had spread a tablecloth on the meadow and put the stuff what the animals brought with them on it. Really, all animals had come. After they admired all the things, they sat down and tasted everything. Well, maybe it's my own honey what I'm eating right now, but he's taking good care of the rest of the animals. You can say that. No wonder that Wabba couldn't take care of the milk. He has arranged a lot of vegetables for Amin. And while everybody was eating, Wabu was arranging the dessert. I knew that I could use this stuff for something. <laughs> it looks just like sugar. It only tickles a little bit in your nose. Be careful, Wabu. And now the climax of the dinner. A beautiful Tasty surprise cake. Wabu, wabu. Looks lovely. Cake with sugar. I don't get that very often. I don't really like cake, but because you took so much effort, I'll take a piece of cake and let it taste you. <laughs> and all animals did. But when they took a piece of the cake... Ich bin der Babu, 
Holze gehe im Wald umher und brauche keine Schuhe. Schubidi-dabidu, ich bin der Babu. Und mir geht's zu Schubidabidu, bidabidu, bidabidu.